Mm. I'll put my hand out. <laughs> stop. I'll say, babe, stop. Stop, 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 stop. stop, stop, stop. You're ruining is this the a, whole thing. Is this a prank? Tip? Yeah, facts. I thought you were buff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> After watching all of this, yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> Right, guys, as you already know, we start the show with energy, hype, charisma, and a bit of foreplay. Oh, you want to do foreplay now? Mm, why not? You're not selfish this week. I'm not selfish this week. Give me that energy, energy. Mm, mm, Give me that energy, come on, energy. Come on. Yeah, man, yeah, Give man. Give me yeah, that man. energy, energy. You might already know what the time is. It's time for the question of the week. And the question of the week this week was something light, something simple, something nostalgic. What's your best your mum slash dad joke? Oh, okay. Damn. Very nostalgic. Very that is hella nostalgic. Hella nostalgic. All right, cool. We grew up poor. They were the joke. Starting off strong. Starting off strong. Oh, wow. Okay. Your mum's so fat, Thanos had to clap. Cool. <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> cool. I just got it. <laughs> cool. All right, bet, bet, cool, bet, cool, bet, cool, bet, cool. bet, bet. All right, cool. Your mum's so dumb, she spent hours looking at the orange juice carton because it said concentrate. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Your mum's so short, she climbed Mountain Dew. Cool. Not bad. Not these, bad. these are cool, man. They're cool. Your mum's so hairy, her OF got reported for bestiality. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Your mum jokes have come up. Yeah, they have. I've got like half your mums and half your dads. All right. Pause. Yeah, facts. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd get away with it. <laughs> All right, cool. Why I've got half your dads? <laughs> Pause. <laughs> your mum's so dumb. She thought seaweed was the stuff SpongeBob smokes. All right, cool. Cool. Your mum's so fat, they said it was chilly outside, so she brought a bowl. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's chilly outside. <laughs> My girl brought a bowl outside. <laughs> <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Your mum's so fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. okay, sorry. Go, go, go. <laughs> your, your mom's so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, God. Go, go, go. All right, right, okay, right. Okay. <laughs> your mom's so fucking stupid. She thought. <laughs> it's a fuck. The fuck is sending me, man? Flip sake. <laughs> Fix up, man. <sighs> right. Ah. Okay. Ah. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Your mum's so fucking stupid, she thought a quarterback was a refund. Ah, oh, damn, okay, cool. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. This one, hook, line, and sinker. Yeah. Your mum is Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh. she's, she's, kind of, she's coming for blood this year. She's come for blood this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's she's crazy. She's left with on, just on a boat with notifications off. It's mad. It's mad. Oh, God. Your mum's so ugly, she had to tie a pork chop around her neck just so the dog could play with her. Jesus. Your dad ain't half the man your mum is. <laughs> God. <laughs> Jesus. All right, bet. Your dad sells Avon. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that? Of course I do. Wow. Avon. That had to stay at her mum's gas for a minute. Yes. Gas yes. for a minute. They thought they had jobs. Yeah, to yeah, do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. <laughs> Your dad, your dad fakes jellyfish stings to get pissed on by strangers. <laughs> <laughs> well, random. <laughs> that is random. Jesus. <laughs> cool. <sighs> your dad bites his lip when he wipes his ass. Yeah. That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> your dad who. <laughs> Your dad hoovers with boxing gloves and calls himself Mike Dyson. Jesus, all right. Your dad's so fat, his blood type is Nutella. Cool, cool. I bet you dip your Oreos in water because your dad hasn't come back with milk. (laughs) 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 
Oh shit. All right, cool. Your dad's so fucking fat, he gave memory foam Alzheimer's. Oh, damn, that's, that's pretty smart. Yeah, that is pretty smart. All right, cool. Your dad's so fat, he brought a spoon to the Super Bowl. All right, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> Your dad wanks on all fours. <laughs> Whoa. All right, bet. Oh, man, my head spin, man. On all fours. <laughs> wow. That's His back to... must curl yeah, when he nuts. Wow. <laughs> that, and that's just staining in carpet. Yeah. That's just staining in carpet. You can't catch stuff like that. God, bro, it's flying off. puts a towel down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's long. Or a yoga mat. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It rolls that oh, bitch up afterwards. God. That's hilarious. All right, guys, welcome back, man. Oh, welcome back. That was short and just quick. That was short and sweet, yeah. G. I like that. Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah. Get the juices flowing. Yeah, welcome. man, yeah, man. Welcome back, guys. Mm. Thank you for uh, for joining us today. As per. Um, as always, guys, if you are a fan in the slightest, yes, sir. if you're like, mm, this is all right, mm. I can live with this, <laughs> um, head on over to patreon.com yes. forward slash shits and gigs. Yes. And all you're going to do is reach... Shallowly into your pocket. Not even deep. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah not nowhere even deep. near deep. A shallow. shallow. Yeah, a young shallow. Three yeah. pound a month. Ten p a day. Run the p to S and G. Facts. And you're a top boy now. Facts. Your whole life you've been vexed because you're a bottom boy. And there's Facts. nothing you can do about it. Mm. Turns out all it costs is three pound. That's it. And you're a top boy now. Facts. Turns or out a top girl. To the top. Yep. That's what it looks. From bottom to the top. So start at the bottom. Now we're here. Come on. Let's go. We're in sync today. Let's go. That's flipping better, man. <laughs> Honestly, guys, the last few weeks have been tragic. <laughs> <laughs> we're in sync today. All right, we're cooking. Guys, big announcement as well, okay? Yes, sir. Pay attention, guys. Pay attention. So along with subscribing to this channel, because <laughs> we have to plug ourselves first. Facts. Selfish lovers. Facts. We, okay, let me actually like, let's bring the volume yeah, down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Concentrate. Obviously, <clears throat> let me get serious with you guys for a minute. You already know that we've been daddies in the game for a minute, obviously. Some of you weren't true believers, mm. so we had to put our CEO, CEO hats on. Mm. CEO hats on, mm. and we had to branch out. Yeah. So, your boys are in the- Acquiring business. Ac acquisition business <laughs> yeah, yeah, now, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Your <laughs> boys are in the partnership <laughs> business, production style. Facts. So now, We've opened our arms mm. and we've embraced the lovely Madam Joyce. We have. And her sensational show, mm -hmm. Cocktails and Takeaways, is there... which is now under the SNG umbrella. Nice. The beautiful, cozy, cult umbrella. Let's go. Now extends to Cocktails and Takeaways. It does indeed. And we expect you guys to show her equal respect. Equal love. respect, equal love. Admiration. Admiration. Enjoyment. Facts. So guys, head on over to Cocktails and Takeaways channel, hit that subscribe button. Facts. We've just done a big, 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 big rebrand, big mm -hmm. relaunch, mm -hmm. new studio, mm -hmm. new content, mm -hmm. new everything. Earth day. Um, so, and obviously her first guests were yours truly. Facts. Who else would it be? It was a paying episode. Mm -hmm. If we had drank some stuff he didn't want to drink. Pause. Pause. Come on. And we had a good time. <laughs> we had a good time. I drank some stuff I didn't want to drink. Pause. Pause. I had a terrible time, <laughs> terrible time. My belly was cooking. Oh, for my lungs? <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah. my lungs were hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. So head on over there, guys. Enjoy the episodes. Um, they're going to be coming out every week. And this is uh, very, very, very exciting. We're super, super stoked. It is, guys. And super happy for <clears throat> Joyce. Um, and yeah, man, yeah, enjoy. Man. Now back to the Selfish Lovers. Facts. Subscribe to our channel first. Facts. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. Chirps and sing in the comments. Mm. Like the video if you like the video. Mm. If you're listening on any audio platforms, leave a nice review. Facts. It actually does stuff. It does. You might not think it does stuff, but it actually does stuff. It does. It cooks. It cooks, bro. So please, 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 please do that. And before, by the time this comes out, we're recording this now in past tense. By the time this mm. comes out, your boys are going to be... I know we're not. We're gonna be. Yeah. Actually, no. We're gonna be to New York. Yeah. 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 By the time this comes out, we're mm. gonna be mm -hmm, mm -hmm, to New York mm -hmm, mm -hmm. after a young week in LA. Yeah. So we're coming out to the states, guys. Don't get gassed. Because <laughs> we're gonna be minding our business. Yeah. Facts. We're gonna make money. Over yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna be doing business. <laughs> yeah, stand yeah. on business. Yeah, stand on business. Yeah. We stand on business in America. Yeah. Mm. So if you see us, 
<laughs> Step back. Because <laughs> you don't know me like that. You literally don't know me like that. Step back, bro. <laughs> Step the fuck back, bro. But also, it's love. <laughs> it's love. Yeah. yeah Once you felt the fear of my yeah. aura, yeah. it's actually love. It's love. Come yeah, in for yeah. a hug. Facts. So if you see us, Come in for a hug after you yeah, yeah, step yeah. the fuck back. Yeah, yeah. Because we're standing on business. Facts. We're gonna let you man know that we, we run all the turfs. <laughs> we run all the turfs. <laughs> all right, bet. Yes, sir. So, <sighs> Rem's not in today. He isn't. Again. <laughs> 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 Again. So there's no top five today. There isn't. Um, if you're vexed about it, send your abuse to his DMs. Facts. Um, all the comments for the world to see. But what we are going to do mm. is we're going to pass you over to File Off Wakes. Come on. Big Daddy Fuhad mm, is going to hit us with a dilemma. Yes, sir. And the dilemma of the day is, so I've been in a relationship with a girl for about seven months now. And we were close friends for a year before we finally got together. Everything is great. She's funny, peng. Our vibes are immaculate, but she comes with somewhat of a red flag. So she proclaims to have a lot of close guy friends and she's not shy about it. She says she has like 10 or so close friends who are guys, in brackets. She does also have close girlfriends, but she usually hangs out with these guys alone, dot, dot, dot. Hmm. Sometimes it's two or three guys, sometimes it's two or three guys and her, or sometimes it's just her and one guy. She's even been to restaurants with one of them, um, which I said I wanted to take her to. Oh, techie, damn. Techie. Now, her being friends with guys doesn't actually bother me. And I have girlfriends and we both trust each other. But the part that makes it a red flag to me is that half of these guys she chose, uh, she is close to, sorry, have at one point admitted to being in love with her or have asked her out. How many, sorry? <clears throat> Ten. She's got 10 close male friends plus. And all of them have proclaimed love? How many have proclaimed love? Um, yeah. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. All of them at yeah. some point or yeah. another? Yeah, yeah. At some point or another, all of them. No. Um, no, so where was I? This is bad at vibes. one point, not being in love or I've asked her out or tried to ask her out. She rejected them, obviously, but I find it weird that she's going to restaurants alone slash bantering with them um, if they have, if they've had these feelings, and as a guy, I don't know if uh, they would actually be over her if they're still like that. I was her close guy friend before being with her, so I know that her banter with guys is naturally quite flirty. The second thing is that she um, that she still hasn't told a lot of them that we're together. I asked why, and she said that it would just make it weird between them slash she doesn't want people to know about intimate details in her life. Okay, yeah, I'm done with this. So, am I being unreasonable, finding that weird and voicing my concerns? She says that it's not weird and I should drop it. Advice. She is a whore. She's, she, she's clapped one of them. She, she hangs around with 10 brez. I don't, I don't have 10 friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't have 10 friends. Yeah. She Crazy. hangs out with 10 brez, mm. goes to, she's been to a restaurant with one of them. Mm -hmm. That he wants to take her to. That he asked to take her to. Mm -hmm. She hangs around with three or four of them at a time. Sometimes just one to one. Mm -hmm. At some point in their relationships, all 10 of them, I said, I either want to bang you, I fancy you, or I'm in love with you. Mm -hmm. And he started off as a brethren as well. Oh, I didn't, I missed that yeah, bit. Yeah, he started off as a brethren as well before becoming her man. Oh, he was, he was number 11. Mm. And he broke through the, the friend mm. zone and was is basically like, if I can break it through, yeah. any one of these motherfuckers Facts. can break it through. So what's the difference between me breaking it through mm. and someone else? Facts. It's the law of physics. And she's like, it. fucking drop it. They're just friends. The, the thing is, in those <clears throat> scenarios, she, from what I can assume of this context only, she is clearly benefiting from having these 10 male friends. Yeah, yeah, Whether yeah. it be sexually or not, she's going on quote unquote, friendship dates she's getting these man that are infatuated with her to do stuff for her mm. and she's just leaving leaving living a soft life and having a man on the side bro and also she's told me that me and her together mm -hmm. 
I'm the only one out of these 11 guy friends mm -hmm. that's made it through the friend zone and now mm -hmm. I'm her man. Mm -hmm. But she won't tell the others that I made it through. Because it might make things a bit Because it's gonna make things a bit awkward and that they don't need to know personal details about my life. Um, so what evidence do you have to me that you're not fucking every single one of them? Facts. Facts. What proof is there? If you can't even tell these men, oh, I'm actually in a relationship, but we can still be boys. Because all I'm hearing is I'm in, still in the exact same position that these men are in. Facts. I said I wanted to <clears throat> take you to like Vapiano's mm. and you went Vapiano's with Fred. So how are me and Fred any different? Facts. Apart from you saying that you're not banging Fred. I don't know that. I don't know that for a fact at all. For, at oh, all. Oh, now done this girl, bro. Bro, it's, it's, it's um, I mean, it's open and shut. It's pretty much open and shut. Like you can't, you're in every position to voice these feelings and opinions to her, considering she clearly is in a situation where she just wants to have a cake and eat it. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's just neither here nor there, my bro. You can't let that slide. And that's just on God. It is on God. You can't let that slide. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah he has to dash it. That's so obvious. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. She must be bad. Oh, God. She must be bad. I can just tell. Uh, she has 10 men just running around for her. Probably, bro. Really, really probably. Yeah. Um, long. Long, 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 long. She's, she sucks one of them off. That's for sure. Yeah, literally. Bet. Anyway, sauce, bro. Right to you. Mm hmm Trash news, please, yes, sir. sir. So I'm taking over off Rem's duties. As you know, Rem's away, so I'm just going to re-up on some trash news. So listen to this, my G. Woman abandoned by dates and left to foot the bill of 150 pounds after she ordered 48 oysters. I saw that. I haven't read the same, but I saw <laughs> that. It's a joke. Understatement. A woman who ordered four dozen oysters on a first date was left to foot the bill after the man did a runner. Awkward. TikTok user Iquana, I believe that's how you say it, visited the Fontaine, uh, Fontaine's Oyster House in Atlanta with a man who had been keen to take her out on a first date for some time. Once there, she decided to make the most of the restaurant's significant dish and ordered herself a plate of 12 oysters costing $15 a piece. Oh shit! A piece, bro. Yeah, oysters aren't cheap. Um, and she enjoyed them so much, she ordered another three plates much to her date's surprise. <laughs> he clearly didn't like that very much and bailed when he had the chance. And that was it. I don't know if that's her, but that's- yeah, I was gonna say, it can't be her. I or maybe it is. It, it maybe it is her. Like, yeah. She doesn't look like she can put away that many oysters. I'm not I gonna mean, lie to you. I mean, oysters are very small, but then again, I've never had oysters before. I've never had oysters. I never will have an oyster. I can't imagine a situation where I'm, I'm taking a, a lengthing on a date. Yeah. And then she's like, I'll have the 12 oysters. Mm. And I'm just like, that's cute. Yeah. A little Afro D's. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah little Afro D's nuts. Yeah. Let's go, bro. You want to get freaky? Yeah, say less. That. Take 12. 12, baby. You sure? Why and not? she's like, I got that, daddy. Yeah. And then she's doing the little. <laughs> yeah, she's just putting hot sauce. Yeah, on the hot sauce. Of, yeah. I'm like, damn. Mm. <laughs> First six went down quick. Yeah, she's throwing them back. All right, bet, bet, mm. bet. All right, mm. bet. Finish the whole 12. Next plate. Want 12 more. Yeah, and they're 15 a piece. I'll be thinking, raw. I would definitely say on the next plate, are you sure you want another 12? Facts. And she's like, yeah, bet. As soon as I saw those 12 go up, I would say raw. Mm. I, I would start, I would really, really, really start questioning what's going on. Yeah. 24 of anything is mad. Yep. And this is chips? Facts. 24 is a lot. It's a lot. And yeah. even, I don't even think I could sit there and watch someone eat 24 chips. Just chips. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then order more. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Facts. And then order Facts. double that. Facts. That's crazy. And you know the worst thing about it? Uh, let me read it again. The worst thing about it that I read was with a man who had been keen to take her out on a date. That bar, that keen bar, she saw how gassed and yeah. gagging for it He's he gonna was. He's going to firm it. I'm going to order what I want. He's going to firm it. I'm going to order what I want because he loves me, clearly. She had four plates of 12. It's like she, 48. Yeah, do you know how brazy that is? You would vomit. Oh, fuck. You would vomit. That's not possible. This must have been a TikTok dare yeah. or trend or challenge or something. I don't know. Apparently she threw him back. Yeah. Ooh. She threw him back, bro. And she's, yeah. That, I'm not going to lie. Well, it's a throat on. Yeah. 
All I'm here. All I'm hearing is got a throat it's got on her. Open throat. On yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She open don't feel season. nothing. <laughs> she don't feel nothing. What you say is open season. Open season. <laughs> yeah, that throat is open season. <laughs> that's crazy, man. Yeah, that's a pierce take. So he just bounced. He just he, first yeah. opportunity he bounced. Probably went to the toilet or something. Like what is fifteen times? Is this how many? How much he was supposed to pay? Um, it's, I think it said one hundred and fifty dollars, but I don't think that adds up. It doesn't. That's ten. It doesn't that's add ten up. oysters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, woman abandoned by date and left with, to foot the bill of 150 pounds. What? Oh, it's 150 pounds. I think they converted it because this is in America. Yeah, but even still, 150 pounds in dollars is literally like 170 dollars. It's not much. Yeah. All right. What's 15 times 48? Bro, 15 times 48 15 is bags. 15 times 48, 720 dollars. So what the fuck are they coming up with 150 dollars pounds for? Bro. Anyway. Anyway, that yeah, raw seven twenty. <laughs> wow, wow. I'd skedaddle out of there. Yeah, fat and I wouldn't first. even. I wouldn't even run. I would tell her I'm leaving. I'm gone. You can tell the world. You can tell your TikTok yeah, followers. Yeah, I don't yeah. give a tell fuck. everyone. I put my face fuck. on it. I don't give a fuck. You're brave. Seven hundred quid on your on oysters on a throat on, on a yeah <laughs> seven twenty on a throat. Yeah, wow. But also, I know for a fact that throws out a commission tonight now. Facts! So, I'm definitely different. Facts, because there is no Aphrodisiac left. Yeah. Like, you sucked it all up. <laughs> yeah, there's no Aphrodisiac left because you need to have maybe like three, four to activate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've had way too many. You have way too many. So you're either throwing up or shitting. Yeah. One of the two. So yeah, that throat you is- sucked it all up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that throat is discontinued. Yeah, <laughs> bro. I'm living because oh. I know we ain't doing shit tonight. Yeah, yeah, So what am yeah. I dropping 700 pound on this for? Facts, bro. Yeah. 700 pound of dinner is, is nuts. I mean, that's like a family of four at no Yeah, group. yeah. I was going to say like the last time I spent probably around that much was like a family dinner. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's a lot of us. Bro. On two people? On just one dish? <laughs> or one item of dish? That's, that's, ordered multiple times? That's disgraceful. What's about me? What am I eating? Literally. I would, I promise you, on oyster number, so she's done 12, she orders another. Oyster number six on second plate. Mm. So oyster number 18 in total, mm. I'll put my hand out. <sighs> stop. I'll say, babe, stop. Stop, 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 stop. stop, stop, stop. You're ruining the a, whole thing. Is this a prank? Yeah, facts. I thought you were buff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> After watching all of this, yeah. I don't understand. Yeah, what the fuck is no, going on? No, that's brazy. That's brazy. Yeah, I'd have to put my, I would, she'd <laughs> hear the- hand up. Yeah. Did you hear that? And I'll stand up. Yeah. Stop. 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 Bro. Whatever. Whatever. Prank this is. Just stop. Just and tell me. The most. The most annoying thing about it is nine times out of ten, if uh, there's oysters on a uh, menu, mm. oysters are starters. These aren't main dish type things. Damn. Oysters is a starter dish. You can get different variations, but it's a starter dish. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, it's a sharing platter, which yeah, is, yeah. of course, <laughs> it's still a starter dish. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Man's not even ordered his entree or his appetizer numb. <laughs> These man, she's doing up starter dishes <laughs> for $15 yeah. a pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's bonkers, yeah, man. Nah, get the fuck out my That's face. Facts, bro. Get yeah. the fuck out my face. Get the fuck out of this restaurant. <laughs> Because you have no regard for human you life. You can't keep ordering appetizer, <laughs> after, appetizer <laughs> after appetizer after <laughs> appetizer. The chef will be thinking this is a mistake. <laughs> Table 50 has ordered 12 oysters again. What is going on? I'll be, if I'm the chef, I'm calling yeah. the waitress. What are you recommending these man? <laughs> oh, I told you, fucking push the specials, Push bro. the specials. What the fuck is this? We've got other people to serve. These men want oysters too. Oysters and growing trees, bro. What the fuck? It's not, it's not oyster season next week, man. We need to make this bitch spread. Bro, the line chefs are cutting out oh, of this bitch. Every <laughs> They're split skin for this bitch. They're shaking. <laughs> Another 12 oysters. I'm throwing my stuff in the air. If I'm a chef, I'm throwing my stuff in the air. What do you mean another 12? Bro. Um, you know, you know that, uh, you know that knife thing? And they roll up there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> That's me. Yeah, my, yeah, yeah. my towel on my shoulder. Bro, I'm gone. I see that ticket going through. <laughs> another 12 oysters for 57. I'll roll my shit up. <laughs> the fuck? I'm gone. <laughs> I'm gone, bro. The Elias chefs are pissed. <laughs> it's just a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Two voices again. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, that's impossible. 
Oh, bro. shit. And if you think I'm doing this poxy little salt bed again oh, on his plate. Oh, the garnish. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll promise you I'll put a bucket on that table. <laughs> I put a salty bucket fucking, on that table. Fucking clam him yourself, <laughs> bitch. You want 48, clam him yourself, uh, man. Dash or a screwdriver <laughs> yeah. and bounce. <laughs> You're taking a piss. It's your job now. You want to yeah. have him. Fucking have him. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's real trash news, boy. Yeah, fuck. Jesus Christ. Wow. Sometimes we run away <laughs> we with stuff. We run away with stuff. Oh, I thought we were over with this story like five minutes ago. <laughs> Jesus, then it got juicy. Oh God. Guys, let's take a very, 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 very quick break. So please listen close. Facts. Okay. It may be spooky season. Yeah. But you don't want to scare people with a scraggly beard. Okay. I think Give- I say scraggly scrotum. <laughs> Sorry, it's that again. That too. That's fine. Yeah. That too. Give him something to look at with Manscaped's handyman, mm. right? I'm gonna do a self-endorsement here. Okay, hit him. Bro, I've used it on my cheeks twice. Your what? Cheeks. On my face. <sighs> on my face, bro, on my face. <laughs> <laughs> on the beard, bro. Wow, my bad, my bad. Spun. Yeah, 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 sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. On my cheeks, on my face, bro. Okay, 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 okay. Successfully. Okay, okay. Wow. Nick and bump free. Okay, cool, cool, cool. cool anyway, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> mask is handy, man, bro. <laughs> Are you tired of a bad razor making your neck look like a scary movie? Hmm. Thought so. With the handyman skin safe technology <laughs> <laughs> to help reduce nicks and cuts, you can finally feel confident when going for that close shave. Guys, you're asking, what do I do, daddy? What do I do? I'll tell you what to do, baby girl. Head on over to manscaped.com and use, use the code SNG. Sierra November Golf. For 20% off plus free shipping. Let's get back to the episode. Facts. Right, brother, you have a thread for us, I believe. <clears throat> I do. Another light one. Um, so I'm going to need your help with this one. So the thread is, what's the worst response to an I love you message? Oh, so I'm going to need you to tell me you love me. I'm just going to respond. Every time you Every want me to say it? Time. Wow, okay. Every single time. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas came early. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> um, tell me when you're ready. Born ready, bro. Say less. Born ready, bro. All right. I love you. Have you ever been told goodnight? Oh! <laughs> wow. I don't know what I expected, but that was not it. Have you ever been told good night? <laughs> <laughs> Off the back of an I love you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, bet. I love you. I know. You're not the only one. All right. I love you. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, bet. I love you. We don't do that around here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, say less, say less, say less, say less. I love you. Forwarded. I love you. A forwarded, forwarded. message, bro. Forwarded. Yeah. A forwarded reply. I love you. Crazy. Crazy. Do you know why that's actually fucking crazy? Because mm. you either just told someone else that you love them and then repeated that bitch to me. Yeah. Or someone just else just said it to you. You, <laughs> you threw and it And you forward. fucking forwarded it to me. Yeah. You didn't type nothing to no yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, brazy. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You probably forwarded my one back to them. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. He's got days. the whole game on lock. Bro, I ain't yeah. typing shit. <laughs> forward this, forward that. Right, I love you. You're welcome. Ask, um, okay, I have to say, this one doesn't work. All right, cool, cool. So, I love you. You're welcome. Don't you love me back? Now, isn't that obvious? I don't. No, bro. Ah, you're welcome, you know. You're welcome. All right. Back yeah. to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I love you. Just an emoji sign. <laughs> Stay strong. Prosperity. Prosper- <laughs> Stay strong. Yeah. All right. That's it. That's it. No, no, no. I'm saying that was it for that one. Fuck. All Keep right. going. I love you. Likewise. <laughs> You put underneath, she left me. <laughs> <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> All right, bet. I love you. <clears throat> I've read this for the third time now, and I swear I don't see how that concerns me. My, lo- my love concerns you, bro. 
No, I promise you now, my love concerns you. That's fucked. I don't see. I don't see how this concerns me. Facts, bro. That's crazy. All right. I love you. I noticed. I'm kind of over this, you know. I know it's nothing to do with me. But You're the feeling it every I have to time, say yeah. it every single time. It's sweet in me, bro. It's really starting to like itch. <laughs> All Got right. a few more, don't worry. There's, I say there's like five more. Fuck. Yeah. All right, I love you. It's just an infatuation. First of all, don't, don't speak. <laughs> about my feelings. About my feelings. <laughs> Don't tell Let's me. Speak on my behalf. Don't tell me how to feel. Facts. It's just bro. an infatuation. <laughs> the fuck do you know? I said I fucking love you. It's just an infatuation. It's just an infatuation. Soz. Next one. I love you. Don't worry. It's all pass. I love you. <laughs> you know when you can um you double tap and put an emoji to yeah. the thingy. Yeah. <laughs> Cap. <laughs> Cat, Fitted. stop the cat. Fitted. Wow. <laughs> yeah, bro. All right. How many more? Um, one more. I love you. I don't want to hear that shit right now. <laughs> that's that's the shame. Yeah, that's the shame. That is the <laughs> shame. Ah. <laughs> wow. I don't want to hear that shit right now. Jesus. Oh wow. Little cheeky Trying nail to get my money up. You're talking about this pussy on nail bar. Yeah. <laughs> This nail bar thing. I don't want to hear that shit right now. Oh, I love you. M's. Jesus. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, light thread. All right, bet. Light cool, thread. man. All right. Man. So I'm going to finish us off. Mm, pause. Pause. I'm going to finish us off today with... Um, Ooh. Scary story part two. Part two. The TBC. Of Dr. McAllister's Captive <sighs> God. So to my recollection, mm -hmm. he's now in the basement he is the uh what's his name the therapist wants this breader let's call him x i can't remember his name the therapist wants the, um the breader x to keep telling him about stuff he has no idea he would have found out about him if he didn't put him under if i'm correct that's what happened he, he put him to sleep and he was saying stuff yes to the therapist yes. it's like how do you know yes. this stuff about my family yes. my mom whatever yes and i wants more of him yeah he's yeah, drugged yeah. him and he's in his basement yeah he's got him cool yeah he's got cool. him in his basement i'm locked, I'm locked. So the, how we finished off, and that's how I became Dr. McAllister's captive god. Okay. Right. Part two. Let's mm. go. I will say that while I was with him, mm. I never wanted for restful sleep. Jesus. This was due in part to the fact that I spend most of my time in a near catatonic state. What does that even mean? Bro, it's just loopy doopy. Catatonic? Yeah. I've never bro. heard that word in my life. I'm conch. <laughs> I'm say, conch. Say less. Dr. McAllister kept me restrained in a large underground area that I always thought of as the basement. Mm. I was seated in a large, comfortable chair, my hands secured to the arms with soft straps. There was a remote at hand. I was allowed to watch anything I wanted on television as long as the doctor um, as long as the doctor was away okay if i was hungry all i had to do was push a button and a short blonde woman who i would later discover was doctor's wife would bring me anything i wanted oh my goodness in the beginning it wasn't so bad i was kept in a sluggish state from the drugs he used on me to induce the state he wanted but it wasn't bad i watched tv i ate and I existed. Given that I had worked 40 plus hour weeks and lived off crappy food for most of my adult life, it felt almost like pampering. I was free to do what I liked, except leave or talk to people who were likely wondering what had happened to me. Facts. That's all I'm, literally oh. as you're reading, I was thinking, isn't anyone looking for this? Um, people must surely know he's um, missing. And okay. the way he's talking is like he's just given he's up. He's given up. He's given up bro. and accepted his reality. Yeah, this is my fate now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might as well enjoy it. Yeah. Pamper me. Oh, my mom, my dad, my friend. Did any of them wonder what had happened to me? It may seem odd to you that I never tried to escape, mm -hmm. but my head was always in a cloud of some sort. The drugs left me lucid enough to consume TV or audiobooks. But I never felt able to really settle my thoughts on anything in particular. I knew I should want to escape. 
but it was always a hard concept to catch hold of. Okay. Those days were the good days, back when Dr. McAllister was still operating his practice. That was when Dr. McAllister was still pretending to have a normal life. <clears throat> okay. He would come down in the evenings and talk with me, just telling me his problems and asking me to help. He would ask me about stocks or bonds, the housing market, business ideas, patients, and inventions. And I would try my best to direct him in the way he wanted. I wasn't sure what he wanted. My head was too foggy most of the time to make any sense of it. But I would try my best to help him without the need to be placed into an, into an unconscious state. We'd talk for hours about everything from the state of his marriage, the depraved childhood he'd lived through, the future of psychology, mm. and even the condition of his soul. Jesus. I didn't always want to hear what he had to say, but I understood that it didn't really matter what I wanted. Mm, my God. <laughs> <laughs> my God. Facts. It didn't seem to matter anyway. We would talk for hours, but the end result was always a needle in my arm or my neck. Oh, neck! <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. Nah. We would talk for hours, but the end result was always a needle in my arm or my neck Fuck. and several hours of blissful unconsciousness. I'm sorry, I have to pause there. The fucking fear that would put in my chest knowing when he starts yawning mm. or when I, when he started to just get bored of yeah. this little chitter chatter, yeah, yeah. he's draws him for a needle. It's going here or it's going here? The, the neck. Nah, man. Bro. That's scary stuff. When he gets tired of this chit chat, he's gonna say, fam, it's time for night night. Oh, Tell me my future. Facts. Fact. Tell me my future. I don't hear this chit chat anymore. <laughs> this lucid chit chat, I want you dopey. <laughs> wow. I wanna meet my God again. <laughs> wow. Hey, yeah, bro. Right. I remember little from these periods of blackout, fortunately, but sometimes I would go to a dark place and just hang suspended in the murk. Things would whisper to me there, tell me things I couldn't understand, and I was powerless to stop them. This happened very rarely, but it was still too often for my taste. I don't know what I said to Dr. McAllister in those times, but there was always a drastic change when I came back to myself. It wasn't always for the better either. Oh my God. Once, I came back to myself and felt something wet in my lap. I glanced down, which was difficult because my head was strapped to the headrest. Oh my God. And found that someone had thrown. Why are you stopping fam? Read the ting, read the ting. Cause I'm visualizing as you're speaking and you said thrown and I'm frozen. My imagination's frozen. And found that someone had thrown a head into my lap. I flinched away from it as my, as my soggy brain finally clicked it all together, but it was little more than a shudder in my current state. The head had wispy gray hair, a pair of broken glasses hanging across the face by one ear and a nose full of broken veins from a lifetime of drinking. I didn't recognize it, but it soaked the pants of my pajamas. I did feel like it was familiar somehow. Dr. McAllister was sitting across from me looking expectantly, looking expectantly at the gift he had literally dropped into my lap. Oh my and I looked at it with confusion as he asked, why had he done this? You told me to, he said, a little shocked. You said, if I meant to truly get over the cruelty and abuse that my father had given me, then I had to destroy the icon of my father within myself. So I did. I told him that I wanted to meet so we could discuss our past and reconcile. He was ecstatic. He hadn't seen me in 20 years. And oh, did we reconcile. Oh my God. I waited for him to turn around and I bashed his head with a hammer, choking him to death as he lay twitching on the floor. Oh my God. Then I took the body and disposed of it, cutting off the head so I could show you that I'd followed your instructions. You're so wise, so correct and I'm your loyal disciple. Wait, 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 wait. I know we started this off as um, 
obviously this is a Reddit thing, right? This this is real. <laughs> because is this real or not? I can't remember. <laughs> you need to confirm, James. You need to confirm because it sounds like you're reading Sign mm-hmm. of Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Bro. I think this is I think this is the beauty of the subreddit. We don't we know. No. Jeez. We don't know what's real and what's fake. If, bro, if this is fake, this is story writing. Because <laughs> I'm locked in bro. and I'm imagining stuff. Bro. All right, let's go for a little bit more. Okay. Let's tease it a little okay. bit more. You are so wise, so correct. And I am your loyal disciple. I started screaming, mindless gibbering noise. But he just bowed to me. And when the head hit the ground next to him, he didn't even flinch. That was my first inclination that the things I was saying in my sleep might be used in ways I had never considered. After that, he started bringing people down to see me. Oh no. At first, it was his wife, the blonde woman who had been feeding me. She looked skeptical as she approached, content to keep her husband's secrets, but unsure of joining him in this new experiment. I knew from our talks that he was afraid and she would leave him. Um, <clears throat> no, no, no. I knew from our talks that he was afraid she would leave him, mm. but enjoyed the financial stability of their marriage. He stuck me with the needle as she sat a few feet away. And when I came to, she was bowing and crying and she thanked me for helping her see the truth. Oh my God. My husband was right. You truly are a God. I was wrong to ever doubt him or you. After that, it was friends and colleagues. They all seemed confused when he introduced them to me, calling me his God of knowledge. And some of them laughed thinking it was a joke. They would sit and talk to me, listening to my answers and looking at McAllister as if to ask if there was some elaborate prank. In the end though, when I came back from little naps, he would, uh, when I came back from the little naps he would subject me to, it was always the same. Their smirk of disbelief or scowl of confusion was replaced with raptures, rapturous awe and they would pledge their undying fealty to me. No matter how many of them I begged to release me, the outcome was always the same. Over time, a religion of sorts became to form. Over time, McAllister drew in his cult and we'll stop there that's insanity <laughs> bro that's ins- i just remember the title was 10 years now a decade a captive god for a decade wow i'm intrigued to know how his story ends Fa- wow i'm intrigued to know how this ends because <laughs> when, when i say james you're reading it like i'm i could close my eyes open my eyes and i'm seeing this shit i'm seeing the basement bro i'm seeing his head strapped to the thing i'm seeing him like this i'm seeing the um the uh, therapist, gray hair, glasses, yeah. suit always. Bro. The wife is just like a short, always in a maid short outfit. Like just, bro, I'm like, what's going on? The first time, the first time the wife came down and saw it and thinking, oh my God. Yeah. The first time the wife brought the brethren down. Mm. I'm like, trust me. I know it's crazy. I know it's crazy, but sticking with this, Vam, he will once, tell you stuff. Once I jab him in his neck, you're going to find out the truth. You're going to find out the reason why it's tied up here. And then man just jabs you in your neck and you wake up and everyone's bowing down. I'm not dealing with this every day. Oh my God. I'll scream, McAllister, stop. McAllister. <laughs> McAllister, stop. <laughs> enough that, is enough. No, that's, um. wow. That's a good read. Yes, it's juicy. That's a good it's read. It's juicy. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I'm fucking locked in. Wow. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Same, same, We've got same. a minute. Oh, we got a minute to go. Oh, say less. Say less. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Over time, McAllister drew in his cult. Right, that's where we're going to leave it there. Okay. Guys, let's charge the episode there. Oh, As always, it's been juicy. Facts. Um, and yeah, man, love, love, love. Gang, gang, gang. Wow.